In 1 Kings 2, we read about David coming to the end of his life and giving his final instructions to his successor, his son, King Solomon. And as you read this chapter, you notice that much of what David shares, well, it's actually very practical. And this chapter is very full, 46 verses long. And in it, we read how David encourages, he even exhorts his son to protect the kingdom from a few of the men that were in David's kingdom when he ruled and reigned. And as we read how Solomon followed the advice of his father, this chapter kind of closes with a description that the kingdom was firmly in Solomon's grip upon protecting the kingdom, just as his father David had instructed him to do. And as we see the sun setting upon David's rule and rising upon Solomon's in this chapter, and for all that we read about Solomon's first acts as king in this chapter to protect the kingdom, you know, what I think resonates with me most from this chapter is David's exhortation to follow the Lord through it all. Look with me, starting at verse 2. David tells Solomon, I am going where everyone on earth must someday go. Take courage and be a man. Observe the requirements of the Lord your God and follow all his ways. Keep the decrees, commands, regulations, and laws written in the law of Moses so that you will be successful in all you do and wherever you go. See, as David comes to the end of his life, his instructions, his exhortation, his charge to his son, follow the Lord, obey him, trust him. You see, David, whom God used to do so many great and wonderful things in his life, has a very simple but profound truth to share. Follow the Lord. No matter what this day holds for you, know that the Lord holds this day. So take the advice of King David, follow the Lord, obey him, and trust him with all you have.